This video explains how to combine two factor vectors without changing the levels to integers. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create two factor vectors, as you can see in lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating our first example vector. So after running this line of code, a new factor vector is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called fact one And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing four elements and four different factor levels which are corresponding to the characters A, B, C, and D. We can create a second factor vector by running line five of the code. So after running this line of code, a new factor called fact two is appearing at the top right. And we can print this factor to the bottom in the RStudio console as well by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a second factor vector, which contains five elements and the levels C, D, E, F, and G. Now, let's assume that we want to combine these two vector objects to a single vector, and we don't want to change the factor levels to the integer class. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line eight. So in this line of code, I'm using the unlist function in combination with the list function. And within the list function, I'm specifying the names of our two factor vectors, fact one and fact two. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object called fact combi. So if you run line eight of the code, a new object is appearing at the top right, which is called fact combi. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have combined our two vectors into a single factor vector without changing the levels to the integer class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.